this is Matt from Makers Empire. Uh, this morning I'm going to quickly show you a little bit about the precision tools. To use precision tools, I'll click on create and open a new shaper design. I'm going to show you how to make a simple clock because it uses a good combination of all the precision tools. So I'm going to start my clock with a column shape. Now that's obviously way too tiny and the wrong shape really to make a clock. So firstly I'm going to change the size. I do that by clicking the resize button. I've got two options here, free resize, which means I can stretch the design in any direction that I want, or fixed resize, which means the shape will stay the same, just get bigger or smaller as I move it. For this, I want free resize. So firstly, I want to make my shape skinnier. Now there's two ways I can do that. I can just grab one of these handles and move it down. You can see the blue box there is telling me it's getting skinnier, going down, down, down to about five millimeters is where I want it. The other way I could do that is to use the numbers over here. So the Z is blue. So if I put five millimeters in here, that shape changes, perfect. I also want it to be a lot wider so I'm going to make it, let's say, about 30 millimeters and 30 millimeters on X and Y. That's a pretty good size. Now that's going to be the base for my clock. To exit this precision mode, I can just click on the size button again and all my other tools are here. I'm going to make a copy, a duplicate of my clock. I'm going to change, now this is going to be like the white part where we'll see the numbers in the hand, so I'll make it white. And now that's exactly lined up with my blue shape, so it's not really helping me, I can't see it very clearly. So what I want to do is move it so it's just slightly raised. Again, I can do that just by clicking one of these buttons, so one of these handles, sorry, to move my shape in any direction. I'm going to line it up exactly with the base and now I'm going to make it a little bit smaller by clicking the size button again and I'm going to just shrink it by uh, maybe two millimeters on each side so four millimeters in total so 30 minus 4 is 26 and 26 on the Y direction as well now if I look at that from above that looks like a good starting point for my clock. Now, this is kind of floating in space. So what I want to do is make these touch the base. I will group them together using this link icon. Click the two shapes that I want. Okay. And moving down. When Z is zero, now that is perfectly touching the base there. That just makes it a lot easier to measure other things later. Okay, so that's the base for my clock. I'm going to click on the icon to get all my other tools back. All right. Now I'm going to make the hands for my clock, starting with that little dot that in the middle, I don't really know what you call it, um, the cap I think it's called. That's way too big obviously. So Let's bring that size way down and also let's make it smaller on the X. Actually, I'll make it five millimeters and five millimeters. Right. That's pretty good. I'm going to zoom in a bit so I can see it a bit better. Now I'm going to add a rectangle. So there we go. Oh, that's way too big. This is going to be my hands. I'm going to change colors. Firstly, we'll change the size. Let's make it 10 and 5 and 2. Now that's probably still a bit chunky. So let's make my Y size a little bit smaller again. Now I want to move this down so it's touching the 
face of my clock. So I'm going to use change from size mode to move. And I'm just going to tap down, down, down. As you can see, that's moving just one millimeter each time from 13 to 12 to 11. I can control that using this move step. If I want it to move in more each time, this is going to move five millimeters each time I touch it. So if I go up, it's going to move from 11 to 16 to 21. But right now, I'm actually happy with just moving one millimeter at a time. Down, 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 down. Oh, that's perfect. That's where I want it. Move it across to the right a bit. Okay. Now that hand is kind of where I want it, but now I can't see my cap very well, so I'm just going to make it a whoops, wrong direction. Undo that. I'm going to move that up a bit. Okay, that looks better. Uh, now that hand is still a bit too chunky. I'm going to change the size of it by just dragging it out a bit. And I'm going to make it a little bit skinnier, maybe three millimeters. Okay, that looks good. And it's touching the face of the clock. So that's my minute hand. Now I'm going to add an hour hand by duplicating it again. I'll make this hour hand a nice blue color. Now I'll make it, I would say three o'clock. So three o'clock, I need my hour hand to be pointing straight up where 12 would be. I'm going to do that by clicking rotate. And again, there's a few ways I can do this. You can see each of these colors here will move my shape in one direction. Now, rotate is a bit tricky. It takes a little while to get the hang of it. But once you do, it's very useful. So I'm going to move this shape around on the blue axis to 76. You know what the fastest way is actually just to put in 90 degrees here. Just spin it around exactly where I want it. Now it's in the wrong position, so I'm going to move it across. And move it up a bit. Now our hands are always shorter than minute hands, so I will change the size a little bit as well by just grabbing the red handle and pulling that in two millimeters. Okay, there you have it. Very simple clock. The time is three o'clock. Uh, what if I wanted to make it, let's say four o'clock. I can do that by rotating. I've changed my view, makes it a little bit easier to hold the handle where I want it. I can just spin my shape around. That would be about four o'clock. Now it's not quite lined up properly, so I'll change to my move tool and just nudge it around until it's in the position that I want it. That looks pretty good. Now the time is four o'clock. Okay, I hope that very simple lesson helps you get started with precision tools. If you have any questions, you can let us know and we'll try to help you out. Good luck, happy designing, bye.